Hey everyone, it's Kyle with Coding on Chain. And in this stream, Roberto and I really dive into the process of registering your wallet and delegating to a pool. While we didn't finish the delegation, I personally learned a ton about what it takes to get there. And if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you're an ADA holder, please check out our pools, Lift and Peace. Anyway, let's jump in. All right. Um, okay, so what are we doing? We're delegating to a pool, right? So, well, we're not, sorry. Let me clean up my space. Uh, let's see, close all. All right. One second. Um, here. Let me, oh wait. Can you invite me again? Yeah, what the heck? Maybe. Oh, no, invite. Why can't I click on you? This is silly. No direct invite. <laughs> Good job. There you go. You follow the side. Going. Here, I'm actually I'm gonna follow you. Um, if you don't mind going. Yeah. Through what I will you've show. been doing. Uh, okay. It was really little changes. But yeah, in the staking service where we will be, where we've been. Uh, implementing the um, greatest signing keys, uh, staking, staking files. Uh, I just added the, uh, the creation of the delegation certificate, which is an offline uh, um, task. And then the register delegation certificate, uh, which is, um, Oh, so you just yep. changed the name of a function. OK. Yeah, because I copied this one, which is basically a send all funds to yourself transaction, but including the staking certificate uh, that we need to create the delegation certificate. Um, then the registration for the delegation certificate is basically the same. Send all to yourself, but including the delegation certificate. And I guess uh, we can get rid of this and just normalize that. Uh, here, yeah, I already removed it from here. <laughs> so, so is, yeah, I, I was going to ask, is there a way to optimize that? I mean, you were talking about, you know, how, so we're spend we're doing two transactions then, right? Mm-hmm. So there's one to register and then one to delegate. Can we? Um, no, we can do just one. <laughs> oh, okay. Because you need the, the registration uh, certificate to generate the delegation. You, you need, um, well, actually, uh, maybe we could do it. <laughs> but for the sake of um, uh, illustrating it, uh, we, we are doing it like in two uh, steps. Like, yeah, you need to register your staking uh, certificate. That's one thing. And then you need to register your, dele your actual delegation to a pool. Um, but that's just yeah, a standard transaction fee right that there's no extra cost um nope i think 
that's something we should uh, remove from the function I just copied. This see where it was it line one forty seven. One forty seven. Uh yeah. <laughs> right. Um actually I'm gonna make sure that what I'm saying is right. Um Oh yeah, we need to put to pay the registration fee. Yeah, because there is no difference. You are registering a certificate on the chain, and that's it. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's the same. Um, oh wait, even with the delegation. So like when I'm just delegating. Yeah, I mean you could bind uh, this to uh register registrations but you still will need to pay for the two of them um so yeah we could do it in just one transaction but so i mean I what's said, the yeah. change though i mean like are we the change is nothing more than what just adding the pool that we're delegating to mm -hmm. what I'm just, I guess I'm confused. Like, we're not paying the, the two ADA fee twice, are we? No, you pay for each registration of, of these are two different certificates. Right. So let me just, I, sorry, I'm, I'm going to clarify you, real quick. And you need so, to pay for both of them. Right. In the sense, like, do you mean like you have to pay the two ADA twice? Or you just mean like you have to, I understand you have to pay a transaction fee, but in addition to the transaction fee, right? Because like if I delegate on Delis, right, I'm only paying that two ADA once. Mm. Right. So I need to refresh that, <laughs> I think. But yeah, I would say that each time you register the certificate a certificate you need to pay for um let's go for the reference this is the type of things i usually don't say on my mind um um these are the scripts Right, you don't pay for them when you. I'm going to stop following and check out what's going on here. So what's the actual. All right, so we're just expanding. And create cert real quick. Okay. You're creating a cert with a pool ID, right? I mean, 
Not to mention this function doesn't go anywhere, so that's we gotta work on that. Um, yeah, that we have another new function on the Cardano CLI five. Right, maybe it's not. It's probably it's probably just named something slightly different. Wait, create stake registration. Yeah, okay. It's it was no wait. That's, Okay, it's it's probably just not um named exactly that. All right, here we go. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, oh, it's create create stake registration certificate. That's my thing. But that we and we already brought that in, right? We already brought that in. Or create delegation, sir. Is that what you're using? Yep. All right, because we have. All right, uh, create delegation cert. Delegation cert. Okay, it's delegate cert, not delegate certification. That's the difference. All right, let's uh, let's make it certification just to be consistent with the one above. All right, so we're calling the CLI from the staking service. Yeah. All right, that's, so that's this pool ID, right. right? To create, to register. So we create a delegation certificate with the pool ID and then we register. So basically, I guess I'm really confused on like what delegation certificate we're registering here. So we have a verification staking. Okay, so our stake address or key is making a verification file or key. And we associate <clears throat> our delegation certificate, which is different than our staking certificate mm -hmm. And yep. then, okay, so for, for instance, are, what is the difference between a staking certificate and a delegation certificate in this context? And why do we need both as a, just a delegator? Mm. <laughs> Good question. I mean, that's the way it works. Uh, <laughs> you register your, your, your staking address and then you uh, bind that staking address to a delegation certificate, which binds, yeah, your staking address with a pool, basically. Um, we need both because things. <laughs> um, I can't answer. All right, so we created. I, I don't know how it oh, works. Okay, okay, so real quick, okay. So creating it, All right, I think I'm starting to understand a little bit better here. All right, so register. All right, so, oh okay, yeah, but to be, I guess to me, like I was still under the assumption that for some reason we had to pay the two ADA twice, but we're not actually doing that. Uh, no, um, okay. that's what I assume, but after checking a Dallas script, which is what, what I'm using for reference instead of the official uh, documentation, it, he, he just uh, calculates the fees. Um, don't add any to ADA. So you do for, for registering your state keys, but you don't for delegating. Okay, awesome. Okay, so then from here, are we just kind of in test mode and let's go ahead and delegate to this pool? Now I noticed that this pool is, that's like the BEC32 version not the actual yeah. pool ID itself. Uh, any reason why we can we can we use the pool ID? Uh, that's actually the pool ID. If you, I mean, just encode it in batch uh, thirty-two. If you go and uh, convert it, you will find it's, it's the, the pool, pool ID, ID. In, in pool tool, for example. The reason uh, we what are is using stored that, in the database. That's it. Uh, oh, this when one. We, since we are going from the uh, minimum 
um, info provided by DBC uh, to uh, to delegate uh, to pull. That's what we get. Um, yeah, uh, in, in further sessions, we, we could like uh, build on top of what DBC uh, offers and like uh, create a local database with metadata, which is what Smash server does. Um, we could go all the road and go uh, and grab um, ADA folio uh, portfolios. Uh, but yeah, since we what we want to do is uh, uh, show uh, from the bottom, from the low level, to how to do things. Um, this is what the DB provides. That was perfect. So, like, yeah, and that, I think that's key. I think um, if you, you can uh, visit this URL and share the screen, I pass it on. Well, I would put it on Twitch chat. Okay. Also, so this giant JSON. Mm -hmm. So let's let's uh go to the famous JSON formatting. All right. All right, so we have this giant white page. Um, so yeah, so here's that pool ID, right? The back 32 version. Um, yeah, that that's the raw the raw info that it's on chain and what DBSync provides. And that's actually a, a function I put together, uh, Postgres procedure I put, I put together to get in the same uh, call, uh, the pool batch ID, the verification key hash, and also pledge, margin, fixed cost. That, uh, that actually doesn't mean for example, that the pledge is um, it's valid. It, it is being satisfied by the by the owner. Um, those are the layers that pool tool and ADA pools and all the explorers build on top of this. Um, we might be doing some um, session at some point to 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 build that functionality also. But yeah, yeah that's absolutely. the real info. Um, can you visit that other uh, URL? Which one? I posted in posted in Twitch chat. Oh, um, this one's so long. All right, I'm there. Okay, so this oh. is check. Uh, Look up uh, for look for get valid pools there. There we go. And that's the the actual query. I we we are performing while visiting the the previous URL. Um, gotcha, gotcha. that, that, uh, queries for every pool registration, um, basically gets rid of, uh, the registrations. Um, I don't remember if there was, there was another check. Um, that's from DBSync, uh, documentation where you can find some example, sample queries. Um, and I tuned it a bit for, for showing. I think it was the pledge margin uh, and fixed cost were missing from for the original documentation. And for the sake of uh, um, simplicity on this uh, on this session, I, I put it together. Um, yeah, that's, that's what it. I wanted to show. Uh, All it's right. not any, any uh, fancy uh, endpoint that performs uh, any check, just playing SQL direct to DBSync. Gotcha, gotcha. DB. Okay, so before we actually delegate to this pool, all right, what pool is this? Is this your pool? Uh, I think it's our, 
RPST0. Uh, yeah, one of mine on testnet. Uh, okay. I did. That's my original pool name. And if you go to get search for that one in the get valid pools um, response. All right, we can show. Here. Yeah, here we go. So we can look at your metadata. Yeah. Let's find out which pool is that one. Awesome. And then here's your extended metadata. Is there a like a test net uh, pool explorer? Mm, we have one from Adescan, I think it was. Let me check for it. But we don't have pool tool, for example. We did have it on all the previous test nets, but since it's, uh, you know, uh, it it consumes a, a good amount of resources and it's expensive to to maintain. Another instance, uh, probably that's the reason why we don't we don't have a test net pool tool. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> it definitely makes sense. I'm just trying to think if there's like a really easy way to validate um, the delegation. Like I'm sure we can do it through Playground, right? I just don't know yeah. what that, that, uh, that query would look like. I will check. Um... I will find that uh, testnet explorer. All right. Um, was there? Oh man. Um, did we ever make the call? Like, what's? Do we have the endpoint or the, like the uh, the query to? Oh wait, you just gave it to me, right? You just gave me the query. The query. Which one? Yeah. No, I'm 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 being silly. Copy. All right. So, <laughs> what do we want to do now? Do we want to? delegate or do we want to add the pools to the UI? I say we just go ahead and delegate and then we can yeah, right, like we can kind of prove the point that. to delegate and then we can choose yeah. where we delegate. All right. And I will find the tool by that time. Uh, uh, see electron. Oh. Yeah. See, I can't wait to start building a wallet using uh, Cardano mm -hmm. Sharp, the .NET library, <clears throat> because it'll be a lot easier to debug, and I can just uh, put breakpoints. Not have to worry about. I, I see. The sad thing is, I know that we could actually use breakpoints here, and I'm gonna have to figure it out because that's really going to uh, make this a lot easier. All right. So we're going to go over here, staking, then the passphrase, and hit stake. I mean, this is kind of scary. I'm just going to hit the button. There we go. Done. <laughs> we are on testnet. We can break things. All right. Wallet there is not defined in staking 93. Okay. okay. All good. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. It's ada tools.io. Uh, oh, Wallister, Billy. Yeah. Let's just make sure so, the right one. Was what that one RPST one, right? Yes. Okay, I, I'm dropping the testnet Ada Tools uh, URL in the chat. Uh, that one currently has only two delegators. If we made it to work, uh, it will be free in a while. That's awesome. 
Um, tools, performance, blah, blah, blah. Loading. Okay, let's just let that keep loading. Awesome. Um, what did it do? Grab the pool ID. Run search. No records found. Because I copied the wrong thing. Or did I? Oh, I think I need a search pool ticker. Is that right? Q1. All right. All right. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave this page up and we will check this when we're done delegating. Okay. Um, real quick. Let's, uh, this error happened in line 93. So, okay. So almost immediately. That's good. Um, Yada, yada. All right, so let's try again. How many millions are you delegating? Um, Do you need some? I'm that yeah, rich. <laughs> if you want to give me millions, then we can give you millions. Um, but at the point right now, it's probably just going to be like 0. 0.00002 million. <laughs> so only 205, uh, 215 ADA. All right. Did you put a delegation button there? Or? Oh, I just have this, this right here. So it's just right now enter the passphrase and hit stake basically um, until we actually get the list going. All right. Oh, okay. So let's see what we got here. Um, went for the CLI. Oh, trying to sign a transaction. All right. So specifically. Uh, signing to file null. Null. Okay. Uh, is that uh, wallet holding? Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. good there. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. So in this wallet we have change. Um, we have verification. All well, the signing key gets cleaned up, so that's the thing. Um, all right, let's just go. Let's just go look at it. See what's going on. Um. Signing key, path, okay, that light blue does not look good. Oh, so this is what's going on. Uh, that path, right, only gets set right here when we call create staking keys. Now, we don't call create signing or staking keys if we already have created uh, we've already registered right so uh, what we want to do is set it um and the best way to do and this is what this right here so in the world global um let's see let's go into this Sorry, down here. Where is, sorry, so I'm gonna copy this because this is the path. All right, real quick, let's just do, um, I don't know if it, I don't think it needs to be async. So function uh, set. What do we need to create a wallet there? All 
All right, we just need the path, right? Like we don't actually need the contents of the file, correct? Mm, right. Okay. We can use both things. Um, when we migrate to a database, we will be using the actually the the K itself, not the file, but right. But yep. All right, that should actually do that. All right, so what did this just create then? There should be. All right, so it created this delegation cert then, right? And then we have our staking cert, delegation cert. So that's what we just created, right? Ultimately, it's going to create it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Still null? No, it's not null. Okay, so we beat that. So it's not null. So signing key. Okay, we got the path. Oh, we're not creating the file. All right, how do we create the file? Let's do double quotes. Uh, no, no, it's not that. It's uh. So I set the path right, but I didn't do this bit right here. I didn't actually write the file. <laughs> like we gotta write the file. Um, all right, make sure. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is just executing and getting the value. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually just extract this stuff up here, and we'll call this method from that method. Now, interesting. Okay, so the question actually is, hey, what am I doing? Okay, I'm just recreating the file or the path. Okay, so we don't need to do that. We just need to call this. Even better. That's way simpler. So we just do. So even if it's not registered, right? So I'm sorry. We just do this. We just create it. Yeah. What we'll is register it if if it's not been registered? Yeah. That's based uh, off of uh, a different. Is registered. What's and yeah, we, we, we will check if they are registered. Um, and so here's the transaction. That's what we did. Okay. So here's the yeah. transaction ID in which we did register on. All right, cool. Um, I, I, actually, I think this, this, should, this will get rid of this error at least. Let's just close space. Bum, bum, bum. All right, submit transaction of null. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ooh, what's happened in Dandelion? All right, so which method is this? Registered delegation. Uh -huh. So it's this one. Do so you have the... Um... We're not cleaning up transactions, so I can go look at the transaction. If you have the transaction, we can use the debug endpoint to check what's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Do you, how would you, how would you like me to? Or if you just follow me, I'm on the, I'm on the transaction itself. Uh, 
wait. So, okay, let's open up Dandelion. 37. Ultimately, not this. Interesting. Oh, because it's, it's web packed. But it's submit transaction. All right, cannot read submit transaction of null. That that's yeah. the part. Yeah, can you? That's the part. Of the can you send oh, resend right here. with this call? Uh, the sign the transaction so we can check what happened because that's uh, probably. I mean, when it fails, uh, it doesn't return um, any any. I mean that error. It's when 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 the transaction fails. Um, we can parse the response um, with this code. We can check yep. what happened. We are missing code. Why is it not gonna like my uh, space there? Can I do a backslash for a space? Is that what escape the space? Um, I don't know if it'll is do that back. Yeah. Yeah. You you escape it and it's or yet yeah, or yes change the dude. <laughs> no file. Okay. Core core. You are missing. Come on. I'm missing what? Oh, curl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's not do it like that. Oh man, when you scroll the the terminal on VS Code is completely messed for me. There we go. Uh, uh huh. The legs failure. Let's take delegation impossible delegation. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what does that mean. <laughs> Here, do you should we look at the uh, the delegate? Um... Yeah, I guess like how do we? Okay, let's then maybe let's back up right. Um... Uh, is that the state address register? The state address? Um, yeah, um, we can check that by executing this. Here, I wonder. I want to. I want to try something real quick. All right, can you use the? Um, can you use the terminal now? You should be able to write in the terminal. I so, need to request read. Right. Add. Um. Yep. Yeah, I can now. All right. Can you run with it then? Because like I feel like this is up your alley more than we could be quicker. Oh, don't yeah. just. Uh... Yeah, you don't. I mean, you don't have to do that. Okay, just do your thing. I will actually be right back. Oh, this is gonna be a bit bitter.
Yeah. All right. Sorry, my my head was starting to kind of start to hurt because I didn't have my glasses on. Oh. <laughs> Hard to focus on program when uh, your head's hurting. Okay, so we need. All right. So what are we doing here? Um, trying to check uh, if the registration address, the staking address, is registered. All right. So now. Uh, oh. Starting to drop right. frames we, we again. Don't, we don't have. I need to do this in uh, an online node, of course, um, because you don't have a, a Cardano node running your computer right now, right? That's correct. I can change that if that's what you want to do. Uh, no worries. I will use my testnet node. And uh, no, also, what's the balance on that address? It's like two hundred and fifteen. Okay. Uh, do we have any other um, wallet? That's the only wallet where we've done any of the staking stuff with. So no other wallet has like a staking address. Mm -hmm. uh, you can You can go with the. Um, UI for choosing pools, if you want. I will figure out what the hell. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and. All right. So while you figure out the issue with delegating, I'm gonna start displaying pools in the UI. All right. Don't need that. We need this. Specifically, none of this. Uh -huh. This right here. All right. We'll keep that for next year. All right. Staking service. We're going to create a method in here. I thought. I'll get pools. We need at least a network. And we will need that dandelion service. All right. Um, are we sure we registered that? Oh, you already um, have it. Look at that. It's beautiful. I mean, um, can we register another wallet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to try doing that? Yeah, because I've just checked the transaction for the registration and it says, oh. You oh, keep, no. You keep I, I will keep, keep doing this. Um, but yeah, the problem is we didn't 
do the deposit correctly. Oh, okay. So we didn't we didn't pay we didn't pay uh you know what actually let's look at that. So this is it right here. Um I love all those UTXOs getting All right, so the transact I mean the transaction looks nothing I mean all it does is it looks like we just sent ourselves all of our ADA except we paid a transaction fee of 2.2 Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, does it, I mean, should we see some extra information in here talking about the, you know, no, but the, if you past, paste it in the GraphQL, you will see that the deposit is zero. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay. All right. Not sure. Sure so on, we're talking about register staking cert. Mary, see, uh, amount. Here, what we can do, do you want me to, um, do you want me to output the uh, CLI commands of that particular operation of registering the stake, uh, the staking cert? Um, no worries. Because uh... we can we can just uh, console log that and you know and then just register another wallet. That that will be awesome to have for every command we launch because it's difficult to 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 debug yeah. all right let me let me uh let me get that going. that should be no problem maybe it's because Do you need to see, do you want me to do the same for the sign or just the, just the build track, uh, transactions? Mm, I would like to see if we are including the dash dash certificate, uh, stake address certificate. And also the witness count should be two because we are uh, using, and that's probably it yeah that's uh that's fair i mean the it's not i'll tell you right now it, the witness count is only one i can see it right here oh well, and then that's that, probably yeah. it. all right so we want oh my goodness where am i going where am i going all right UTXO out. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. Well, that's the thing. I feel like that's just like not even accurate either, right? I mean, because it could be, could be. Would it ever be more than two? Mm, yeah, actually, we are. If I, mean, I re signing. if I remember correctly, we are passing every signing key, so it's actually ignoring all of them. But the first one, uh, I suppose, it correlates uh, with the order you pass them by uh, the. Um, the argument um, order um, 
and while building the transaction, we don't. So here's the thing. Any- All right, so I'm looking at this get signing keys, right? If I move this up to right after the, the draft, Ultimately, we just have to take account of the signing keys, and that's our witness, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let me make sure this is the right one. So the first one is the transaction body, done. Uh, UTXO is in, got it. UTXO count out. Is it more than one? Uh, I mean, like, ultimately, this is where uh, future, um, you know, future stuff um where we refactor the transactions we can definitely we'll end up having like a tx out object but like do we need to say more than one right here Mm. i'm just sorry i was talking to the 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 twitch and (laughs) trying to figure out what was what were you saying? Uh, can, could you say it again? So, with all right. So, okay. Real, just recap. I moved the signing key. Um, like get the signing keys. I moved it above where we calculate the fee. That way, we actually have the um, like the lit. Like the how we know how many keys we're going to use to sign, aka our witnesses. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Um. When it comes to the UTXO out count, do we know it's more than one or is it only one? It should only be one because we're essentially doing a send all transaction, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So when you do a send all, it is it is one. It's just going to be one because um, there's no change essentially is what we're saying, even if it is to yourself, right? It's just there's no change. Okay. Um, yep. That being said, um, I still want to knock out a uh, a tx out object that way you know when things and are anyways, abstracted we don't assu- we don't assume that type of stuff and anyway that's only for the calculate mean fee but when you actually build the transaction you don't need to pass the witness count or at least we are not doing it um, yeah all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, since we have these logs in here, I'm going to go ahead and delegate another address. Yep. And we can, you. we can at least have a little more transparency into potentially what the, the error is. Look at you and your bash skills. Get out of here. Wait, is the wallet? The wallet's not even running. I'm over here trying to hot reload the wallet and it's like not even running. Man. So, like, our plans for Lyft Wallet, um, you know, because, like, here's the thing, like, Lyft Wallet in my head will always stay a development wallet, right? And I don't I don't see it really being ever something that's like a polished wallet where like you know I'm not saying like nobody would ever use it, right, to you know, for mainnet. Like I mean I, I use it for mainnet actually all the time, but um especially if I need to post metadata. Um but my th- question is like you know we right now we're using binaries um and we talk about all the time to to move away from using you know to not use binaries that way we can maybe throw this up on the web and have like a browser or you know even go on your phone um sorry i will pick that thought up in a second now that we have all of these okay so we actually aired out when all right so after the raw the sign okay so sign interesting okay, i'm actually make this a bit bigger i feel like i should have 
command error. So specific. Okay, so the the transaction sign uh, command failed. Signing key, signing key, signing. There's a lot of signing keys. Um, open binary file does not exist. State key. Stake. Stake signing key. That should be. We we create it like immediately. Interesting. I mean, we can let's check it out. Uh, yeah, we Technical. are missing logs for the setup wallet staking file registering because of that. You added logs for just for for the delegation uh, part. No, for no. stake registration. So registering the state key. Yeah. That. I mean, if the state key path equals null, if it doesn't equal null, what does it matter if we because where, there's no where transaction. That, where that the value of that uh, variable comes from? At the very top. It's a global uh, like service variable. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take away the null check for a second. And even though, see, that's the thing. It's not, it's like it just didn't write it because it had the path. Here, let's just try again. Do you want, before I try again, do, would you like me to add any other log, like log messages um, that we can check out? No, I'm checking that. Row. Oh, we are not adding the certificate that build row transaction. Oh. Well, other than the fact that we don't have a signing key, that sounds like a problem. See, that's the thing. Yeah. That's we one just, problem. Uh, we just started then... the wallet, so it's definitely null. So why, you know what? All right, I, one second. We're not going to clean up any of this. We're not going to clean up anything, actually. Um, I know. <laughs> We're just going to kind of keep it live for a I... second. Are we full development style or not? Don't clean up anything. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you got you have some files you should clean up. Uh, not today. We can. We'll put our chores off till tomorrow. Yeah. That it would be cool to have a debug mode. Where it oh goes. yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's I will a, ask future request. <laughs> that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do this, do this again then. All right, now we want to. All right, we're still gonna use state. What is it even talking about? Do we take? Do we get rid of? Do we get rid of logging messages? Where are my log messages? It just like said no. All right. So register. Okay. So real quick, create these keys. It's nothing more than. All right. We we're getting the wall direct. Uh, 
uh, directory, right? We grab our account pub and private key because that's what we save. So we can create signing keys and uh, AKA just generate addresses. Um, next we create our staking private and public key uh, based off this derivation uh, path. Great, awesome. Then we basically resolve what the path of our actual stake signing key is, which ultimately we should see the stake. Okay, we have, there's the stake signing key. So we did create that. All right, next. Uh, so that's just getting the path. This is actually how you, man, where's Giovanni? He, this is what he wants to see. This is like literally the code for, for his, uh, uh, his question. I mean, maybe not specifically click, Clearly, he's not using staking keys, but regardless, um, you know, it, yeah, it's it's really this bit of magic how you turn your private and public key into a staking key, right? Anyway, um, we go ahead and generate that file contents and write it. So that's how the file got written. So that's great. Let's go back up. Um, ultimately, we should not have. Whoa, is that the problem? All right, so it, it all right. Um, it said I'm adding the, the stake registration third to the build transaction. Okay, okay. We, um, we were ultimately what I'm confused about is where the where did all the log messages go, unless you deleted them. No, you didn't. Okay. So, oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being silly. All right. So what ended up happening was we did successfully, or at least it says we successfully registered the staking cert. Do you believe it? No, we did not for sure. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that file. Because remember, we're just checking to see if a file exists. So I'm just going to delete the file. And what that'll do is it'll allow us to restake or register our staking cert again. Um, okay. So you want me to go ahead and try it again? Did you add the necessary? Or yeah. here, let me follow you real quick. And can you show us what you did? Sure. Are you following yep. me now? I'm on you. Okay, so uh, for registering the stake insert, we actually need to use the uh, created certificate we were we, we created in the previous step, and I just added it to the build transaction as last as the last argument, and I will show you why. Uh, here, also. I mean, for calculating the fees uh, on the draft transaction and the um, on the actual transaction, um, that's taking this uh, the build transaction. I added this for the delegation third path. Uh, I mean, for the delegation third, but it will also serve us for the staking registration third, and we may be just call this third path um oh i see yeah um, so for instance third all right so can i ask uh, i'm going to ask some questions if that's cool yeah um all right so you added this cert path to building a transaction and it's a conditional you know if it's null you know clearly we're not going to add a cert file now with the staking uh, certificate this is what's kind of register in our wallet um, to, to stake, right? All right. Um, and that's that, that to me, that seems pretty straightforward. The delegation piece is what I'm not so certain on. When we create a deleg, um, uh, like a delegation certificate, when we create the certificate, do we put the pool ID that we're delegating to in that cert? So when we send the transaction, it's like actually the pool ID, and yeah. you know, how are you well, look following? At there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's right there. There's the pool ID. I missed that. <laughs> so yeah, you've been buying uh, the your public uh, verification key 
uh, with the state pool ID or well you can also pass uh, either form you can use it. yeah three three yeah. things and uh, for, for binding the pool um, and yeah generate the de delegation certificate and for this one we don't need to pay the two ADA but um, but you still have to pay your standard transaction fee yeah okay I copied the 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 staking uh the the staking transaction build so we are still paying to ada but since it's testnet data yeah it's fine <laughs> we will clean up okay um so what we're gonna do is try again essentially save all that cool all right let's do the infamous Electron hot reload. Hopefully it works. It did. All right. All right. Now, I, yeah, I deleted. I, mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one we use, but I deleted this one. All right. Um, oh, okay, so this... That's another ledger failure. Uh, that's the node rejecting the transaction for some reason. Uh, we actually, okay, you know what? It's hard to tell okay. if it re if it rejected the... That's not, it's not hard to know. I can just go over here and look. Okay, so it didn't like our registration. We did not successfully register. So this is a registration... Uh, transaction failure, not a delegation transaction failure. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, you can it close the wallet and try to send it to the debug endpoint? You want me to close the wallet? Uh, yeah. You see or another back another... Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. Can you, do you have, do you have right on that Wait. one? Okay. No. Nope. Why does it do? Just make it right for all of. So there's no point in uh, me doing the the bash stuff. This is where Roberto <laughs> comes in and plays with his magic. It was the Perdix two wallet, right? Yeah, Perdix two. So it's this one. Uh... Balloon not conserve. Okay. So it's the UTXOs. Uh, yeah, and yeah, that's not. Oh, it's the it's the value. So we didn't calculate the value correctly. Is that what's going on? It didn't deduct the two ADA for the fees. It seems. All right, hold on. The so our current total. Oh, it did not. Yeah, it didn't deduct anything. So that sucks. That's the exact balance. Okay. Let's go back. I'm gonna. No, I'm not following you. Okay, good. Uh, register stake. Oh, wait, what we, what we can do, actually, one second, one second, is we can look at the transactions. I mean, like, we have them right here. So, uh, draft, yeah, draft, you know, that's a silly one to look at. The fees right, so... pass it, the fees pass it are okay, but. Yeah, okay, I'm not actually sure what's going on because. Are we saying that the fees plus the the output value do, like they don't add up? Is that what we're saying? Yep. Transaction output. Whoa. Sorry, I think I closed <laughs> the wallet. Oh, you're fine. 
Uh, what am I doing? I want fee plus. All right, so this right here. So we have this address, right, as a part of our output. So we're saying send this much ADA to that address. That adds up. So I'm not really sure. Um, and to me, all right, we have our fee. So we're, we're saying that the fee, which I guess we should actually, hmm, hold on. Let's output what the fee is, like that it gets calculated, not necessarily the, the total fee. I mean, if we know the total fee is two. Transaction submit error, we'll submit error. Apply transaction error. UTXO value. Oh, one second. I'm gonna have to run the wallet again. Actually, I'm gonna run the wallet on uh, a different terminal. Maybe, I don't know why this would just randomly start. Cause it, it worked before, right? It's just when we added the cert part that it didn't, yeah. that it crashed. Well. Hmm. All right. All right, so this is our total balance. This is One second. Did it say we only used one UTXO to send our whole balance? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why not? It's well, I mean, consolidating into, it's consolidating the balance into just one address. It's for example, or, oh, PM2. actually, I'm sorry. You're right because this, this, our, because we did. Remember, we did, we did uh, send our stuff. We tried to register with this address right here. So when we look at that, so this is what I was expecting to see, where we had one, two, whatever, like ten or so inputs, but we already registered, so we we would actually only be looking at one input. Okay. Um. I mean, I could just run it again, but I just don't know how to, I don't think it's going to solve anything. By the way, uh, do you know XPR? Command line calculator. <laughs> Wait, what? Hmm. Why does it not like our transaction? All right, yep, so this is the transaction, right? So the input, you know, uh, let's see. So 41 AD and then uh, 4F0A, you know, if we pull up this, that's what this is. So we're inputting this transaction ID. And then our out is an address back to us of the remaining amount. So basically we're subtracting our total balance, um, you know, of the fee. So total balance minus fee gives us what we're sending back to ourselves. And it's once we added the the cert. I did not like what we did. I, mean, I don't see us missing anything. We have our fee, we have our time to live, we have our input, our output, our cert file, and then the the file to write it all to. Let me try something.
I'm just gonna send some ADA. So I'll send 10 ADA. One, right, so that's our all right. So, sending so I sent Ada, that's fine. Um, so essentially, now we'll have a new input of the change, yeah, because we're still only working with one. So, this right here is gonna just kidding. This is the new address. All right, so sending works, um, which I guess we did, shouldn't have assumed it wasn't going to. Um, do you want me to try to stake again? I, mean, um, I don't know yep. what new stuff we'll learn, but maybe. All right, same exact thing happened. And then we can check. Where are you at? Four? You on four? You on four? Same exact thing. Except, you know, minus ten. Yep. All right. So. Let's see. When in doubt. All right, let's try to find what we want is something I don't think I have right at my disposal. Hmm. Oh, is that it? Yes, okay. Just curious. Oh man, I know what happens. Gotcha. Yay, you so. figured it out. <laughs> Alright, do you need some time to, uh, to implement the fix? Because what I can do is I can go ahead and get the pool uh, list going. Kind of already it's gonna be okay. Quick so I'm gonna well, go ahead and do that. But... Then. Just interrupt me whenever you're ready. How about that? Okay. Just try not to break anything. Um, all right. So we are gonna call this. So what we need. All right. So let's go to the very bottom. We'll find. All right. So we have. Uh, let's new assets. Let's go. This is not settings. Staking. All right. So IPC. So ultimately, we're just trying to communicate on the electron thread here. What I can do, um, you know, how about this, Roberto? Why don't I? I'm gonna follow you on the side, like we've been discussing that we can do. Perfect. <laughs> and that way, if anyone wants to see what Roberto is doing, follow along on the right side. So he's trying to fix the the staking actual with you know the blockchain. And all I'm, I'm just throwing some pulls up on a screen, really. All right. And doing some electron work. So this is more like JavaScript stuff. Uh, get full list. Async. All right. The only args we really need to accept here. Oh, wait, you know what? I need get pools. Where are you at? You're at stake for this too. Okay. Um, real quick, let me import this. 
if I'm not wrong, it's done with that. Uh, so can't for this. If I'm not wrong, it should work now. Give us last words. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, like, this it's is a basically bit, this is a bit how we. Or say pools, and then pull this. All right. So that's actually done. So, um, you know, we'll go ahead and test both. Okay. So yeah, what did you, what did you do? Change these two lines. <laughs> Change those two lines. All right. Yeah. So, so, fee. All right, so so fee is the same as what you're saying, right? So mm -hmm. we don't actually have impact fee. We just impact what we send back to ourselves. That's it. So it's not part of the fee you pay. It's deposit you you do, and that's not uh, how you do it. And we deduct the fee from this bill transaction. So the amount. I mean, from from the amount we deduct the fee in the bill transaction, I guess. I haven't checked, but and probably this should be moved there also. If yes. To, oh yeah, to, real to, quick. To, I will say this: we do not want to redefine what amount is. That would probably not be good. Right, and we should do this this up there, right? Uh, do it right on under line two thirty. Uh, Eight. Do we wait? Yeah. Do, as I say, do we do it after? Yes. Yes. Because right now it's zero. We calculate our inputs. It tells us what our amount is, mm -hmm. and then we deduct the fee from that. Well, actually, it should be in the two thirty one. No, because yeah. We do we need it? I was yeah. say, do we? Yeah. Oh, we can we'll move that up. Case. We can move it up. I just don't. For instance, um, well, real quick, uh, the question is, do you need to deduct the amount from the UTXOs, right? Because we need to make sure we're covering it. Up, uh, uh, I would say, try it like this. Um, I mean. It's yeah. probably. I, I, yeah, should, I think this we is probably should refactor the bill transaction function. It's just yes, too many things. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I've already started that actually. Um, we're not going to jump into it, but absolutely. Um, build transaction is going to be a little more. Um, it's going to be more of like constructing, not just like, hey, give me all your inputs and then I'm going to do a bunch of stuff. So, yep. cool. Um, anyway, try like, try right. like that. All right, let's try it like this. So we're saying that we're going to, I mean, because ultimately the amount isn't getting, you know, if we look at it, actually, let me, it's just whether or not we want to determine which UTXOs to use before or after we deduct the registration fee, right? Which I feel like it needs to be after, because we still want to make sure we're covering the deposit. We're, yeah, we uh, that's exactly what we need to do. We need to make sure we cover the deposit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter because you in an in an ideal world we wouldn't just uh, add every transaction input to the build transaction uh, phase. Uh, we will just uh, add as much transaction inputs uh, we need to cover the amount. Minus the. Oh wait, are we doing a? Oh, we're doing a send all. We're doing a send all. That's why. Yeah, we are sending all that. Any uh, in in, in the regular send uh, transaction, I think we include all the transaction inputs in the same way. So no, and in fact, that. that's that's, what, that's part that's what of this whole. This, that's what this whole method does. It makes sure that we don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Anyway, and actually, yeah, that's, that's a very 
let's say, personal uh, decision, how to handle inputs, outputs, how you handle the balances on, on your on your wallet and on your different addresses. I mean, you would like to have a wallet that lets you pick which inputs you want to use until you cover, I mean, manually picking your inputs yeah. for, for a transaction. Let's say you don't want to expose uh, certain addresses for some reason and you just uh, play with some of them. That, uh, but this is the approach we... That's a really we, interesting... Um, man, I almost want to do that with Lyft Wallet now, where it's like you don't... Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying like you necessarily need to like do it like pick them but it would be really interesting to even just like uh display them like here are your actual like utxos right because the utxo is kind of like dollar bill like cash right it's like cash it's just the the value of the bill like the you know whatever it is like the the piece of cat um, like money uh it fluctuates like it doesn't have a hard set number but what it is is it's like an instant like an individual piece of value right so you can send it and you can break it up into change and stuff like that. Um, hmm. We should do that, man. I want to do that because <laughs> that's really interesting. Cause it's not just like looking at your transactions. Like that's not good enough. Right. Um, Cause really you might always have one UTXO, right? If you're only ever using one address to ever yep. transact, you will have no more than one UTXO for the whole like lifetime of that wallet. You can have a billion transactions and it's only ever just like cycling through one UTXO. Right. Um, yep. So. And in fact, that might, that might be a very convenient way to handle, for example, a, a one time, uh, one time use uh, a wallet. Um, yeah. You don't want to mess with different uh, exposing different addresses to to the end user because you don't want to pollute uh, that wallet just for. For convenience, for, for for making it simple, um, yeah, you, the, the, that's the cool thing uh, uh, about the UTXO model. You you can choose to to do really really different things and cool things. Um, but yeah, that will take us another oh yeah two hours. Right now. Oh yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 two hours of uh, session. Yeah, I mean that's essentially just all. Uh, that's like an all UI thing because we're already we already have all the functionality. Grab your UTXOs, so. All right, all right. Real quick, let me uh, let me just to verify we do not have a registration file. No. Okay. So we're going to We're going to input the password correctly and I'm still not doing it. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, uh, oh, it failed. Just, yeah, but it failed in a really weird way because I still, okay, so we have, it's just the thing, it might not have been the registration that failed because the registration actually, we do have a key now um it could have failed based on oh it's that verdict one uh dang it you're right i am looking at the wrong one sad so i'm gonna close that well here's the other thing i don't did you get rid of all the logging messages no so that's that's no. another thing um I don't see any of the logging messages. Yeah, try, try Vertex 2. Oh, is that what I did? Yeah, uh, yeah I did the that wrong one. one was missing the stake uh, secret key for some there reason. Yeah. And there it is, that one. Nope. It didn't go through. No, we, yeah, we, we got it. We got it. So here's the registration right there. So it failed to delegate um, a pool to a to a pool. Sorry, Daedalus has implemented the listing of the wall at UTA. Ah, nice. That's great. I mean, yeah, that's that's awesome. I I don't. I hopefully end users will learn what that means and why it's different than a transaction. Um, but yeah.
because I really think, you know, I think UTXOs, if you just look at them, like just high level model of a UTXO and how it works, it's a lot like cash, right? Like if you have a UTXO that's at valued at 20 and hypothetically, let's say you go and buy some groceries, you spend that 20 value UTXO on some like, you know, 15 value um, groceries, right? you're going to end up with two outputs, one for the payment of the groceries, and you're going to get a five value UTXO back as change. So, so um, it's literally cash. I right, so. think we can have that amount minus registration fee in there. <laughs> uh, it, it, now, can you see the terminal? Uh, which one you want? Uh, I try to replay the transaction and then we go. Oh, it's bad, bad input. input. Man, I love yeah, 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 yeah. So uh -oh. basically, what ended up happening? I know, I know why I did that. Okay, so let's look at it real quick. Um, three? No, I have no idea. I think it was one. Yeah. All right. So the reason why it's doing that is because when we give it this input, you know, we can look at the, uh, the draft one, we give it this transaction, right? And we're saying uh, index zero of that transaction, we have uh, a UTX that's going to cover what we're sending. But um, the thing is, that value does not equal the value of the UTXO. Right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so how, where does the deposit come from? Like, how do we designate a deposit? Pr protocol par parameters, but I don't get... No, no, I'm not saying, like, where do we find the, the fee? I'm talking about, it, um, like, it still doesn't seem like we're able to uh, deposit to ADA, basically. Hmm? Because just subtracting it from the amount isn't going to work. Uh, no, that I mean we are sending all minus that. <laughs> That's right. for I, sure. I, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what does build transaction do. Uh, but what happened is that we input zero. Uh, I mean, just one transaction input, and it was zero, so the value wasn't. So I mean, did, did you, you see the, the error? I'm talking about where yeah, on, is it? on Bash Four. There's an error up here. If if you see but the error value zero, that's so we're, oh, we are... we're inputting zero? Yeah, well, that's tough. Okay, one second. I see what you're saying now. Or... I guess I'm not seeing where we put zero. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, so, again, I'm looking at the wrong transaction. Because that's not the transaction that failed, right? All right, one second. Were we, were we able to confirm that we registered our stake pool? Like, our, not our stake pool, our stake. Uh, that's what we're trying to do right now. All right, yep. we're not... The error came... If you're look, if you're using the, the, the transaction file, right? Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, maybe I'm just completely off, to, like, off the... You know, not on the same path right now. Um, did, all right, let's first confirm, and maybe you already did this, that we did actually register our stake keys, right? Did we do that? Like, I see, I know we have a transaction uh, hash saying that we did, but is that the problem? Oh, is that then? This error has to do with delegating to a pool. Oh man, then uh, then I, I overlooked that. <laughs> yeah, no, because I, me too. Me, my terminal is like 
half of yeah. what it should be. So I'm that's, missing. That's why does that. Man, this is a pain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, life share. Uh, look at. I mean, it sounds better than where is it. What it is. <laughs> yeah, you know how I kept asking. I was like, "Can you just pull your window up?" Because I I thought that if you pulled the window up, it would actually make. But it's not right. Like you just have a giant. No, gap no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So how can we confirm that we re we registered? Uh, that's really what now that we want to do. Check uh, in the playground, for example. Uh, oh, you don't have this. Can you paste the transaction yeah. ID? Yep, here you go. Here, I'm just going to, can I paste it in Twitch chat or where do you want it? Twitch chat is good. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, there you have deposit to ADA. Yeah, it worked. Okay, cool. So what, did I, what did I paste? <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, not it. I don't know what I pasted. Windows path. <laughs> yeah. That is, and that's to, not even a path on my machine. Oh, Windows I see. Path to, I see. I see. To the blockchain. That's, that's just weird. Okay. Anyway, cool. Um, so it, it's the, the, like, the actual delegation which failed um, failed because. Yeah, because yeah. the building is broken. That's fine. Uh, that's, uh, that we can fix. That is something yeah. we can fix. Okay. In fact, it, it should be broken by the same um, reason because we are deducting the re registration fee and we don't need that one in the delegation. I just removed are it. Are you serious? Uh, oh my also, God. All right. Also, also, still, okay, I'm just gonna stop I don't this. get, I don't get why it said zero. I will figure it out. But can, can you? Maybe we have no. Do you want to try a different wallet? Well, we could just redo um, that wallet. I mean, because ultimately we're just trying to redelegate, right? So I'm not sure. If, if, if it doesn't if work, I'll try a different. Handling, if our error handling is that advanced, <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> dude, it's, it's so advanced. What are you talking about? <laughs> right. do, 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 do. Did I even do that correctly? Yeah, okay. Wait, I think it worked. <laughs> I'm like sitting here staring, waiting for an error, but all I got was a transaction hash. So um, oh. I think it worked. Um, cool. Let's check. Oh, wait, yeah. Hey, that's cool. Do, 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 do. All right, so we should so active delegators. Eventually, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but that should become three. Oh, we broke. No, okay, still not there. Um, we have... could. <laughs> active delegators. Okay, ultimately, we know what our. Oh wait, what's our staking hash? Let's go grab that so we know what we're looking for specifically. Uh, this and also I think we have some uh, SQL we could execute. Yeah, if you want to work on that, I mean, I can I can sit here and wait for. I don't know why I did that. Can you paste uh, the transaction ID, please? Yeah. Here, I will give I'm you. And not uh, Windows. <laughs> oh come on! You don't want the Windows one. Uh, this. That's it. Thanks. Come on, Ada Tools. Is Ada Tool? Didn't they? Did they put in a catalyst proposal for like either maintenance or up or updating? I don't know. I thought I saw something. 
And when can we vote for fun three? That's the real question, right? That's the deadline for registration. Oh, it's tomorrow. The fifth. Go away, Amazon. Okay, here I have a get delegation story for a stake address. We can use for this if I remember how it works. I'm just assuming that it worked. Real quick, uh, no, let's actually click on it. I don't know. Doesn't really say anything specific. I wonder if Ada Tools has. I was hoping that it would like uh, give me focus. some. All right, so you can see what that's pretty cool. Is there a pool that's behind Ada Tools? Am I just not? Yeah, I'm sure. AdaOcean.com.au. Okay, it's A O A U S. Nice. Very cool. I'm still only getting two. I'm worried at this point. But then against testnet and who knows. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I thought I saw Ada, Ada no, tools on no the board. Worries. So I will. All right, I'm gonna get the pool. I'm gonna get the pools back going. You, you, uh, you keep, you keep digging. No, actually, I had the the, the documentation on Gimbal Labs. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I feel like every time I go to like do this, you're just like, oh no, I fixed it. It's it's ready to go. All right, so where was I at? Um, we have pull list. Great. All right, so what we want to do now? Uh, Lissandro's pull request for uh, optimizing or at least like you know splitting out all the lot like all the UI is up there. I just need to review it so I can stop doing what I'm about to do. Hmm. So this wallet detail bad boy is much slimmer now. Let's look at what we're getting back. All right, so one object we have. Well, why is it too? Anyway, um, all right, so we'll say this is what we're really looking. We're just going to output that for now. All right, so slot. Yeah, let's go. Uh, key for pools. Slot pools. Yeah, the key is not that it's gonna be what P four slot back thirty two. So we're gonna use the actual pool ID as a unique identifier for the list item, which clearly we can definitely do that. Let's see what we log. 
Mm. Get rid of the chip. All right. Um. I think it didn't work. Okay. Uh, go on. I will. Here, if I this will... terminal lets me <laughs> read, I will figure out what we were missing. Oh, we okay. Real quick, we are not outputting the delegation transaction stuff. Do you want me to go ahead and? Uh, we don't yeah, have we don't have any good. output for that. All right, real quick. Okay, we can just. Pull I, off I can do it. Don't worry. I can. I can still print on JavaScript. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna CP. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and output this for now. Ah, oh, damn it. Did not mean to hit save. Doesn't matter. Um, where's all our data? Uh, I just say that it, um, it should print the route transaction building now. Let me just get these um, listeners going. Where's the data? Come on. Right here. Transactions is null, so we'll say pools. I have no idea what I called it. Called it pulls. So pulls. And coming down here to our methods. Let's go. Let's see far. All right, this right here. Mounted. Yes. Cool. All right, so right here. Let's add a set pull list. This will return the set real quick. Uh huh, sure. No, no symmetry. All right, then I think I called it. All right, so basically, we're looking for the, this is the object of args coming back. So, args. Dot, okay, so this.pools equals args.pools. All right, we also need to load the back end. Uh, I'm replying to Kiriakos spec pool operator about the the web dot pm calendar. Oh, I okay. told him that we should uh, move that uh, events database to the blockchain and um, maybe mint some uh, when when tokens and. Just display okay. events that were sent by when stakeholders on the web page. Um, oh, that's a really good idea. That, that posting events will be uh, uh, an awful <laughs> uh, user experience. And I told him that it doesn't matter. It can be for advanced yeah. users. <laughs> yeah, exactly. By the moment. And the cool thing is that the approach could be reused for, for many different things. Or at least to... Oh, there it is. Have you... Yep. So that's the raw output. So... so we are including the delegation certificate. We are... Hmm. Hmm. Let me know if you want to output anything else. I'll redo it. That's so all I wanted to see. Uh... All right. So real quick, the only thing we haven't done. Oh, man. Look at that. I did it wrong. Doesn't matter. Um, on mount. Um. 
I mean, I feel like I can just do... Send is what I was looking for. All right, so ultimately we have a way of getting the response back to get the pools, but we haven't asked for the pool. Um, real quick. Uh, network is the only actual argument we need there, which we already have it. Um, I'm gonna slim this down a bit. Yeah. All right, it didn't come back. Let's see what's going on. One thing we can do. All right. One, did we hit it? Getting pulls. By the way, we have a meeting in three. Well, yeah, pulls. It will be cool to attend to that one. Well, seems like you should hurry up and figure out what's wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Uh, at the very least, what we can do is get um, the pool list up. I mean, A, we did correct the pool registration, right? Like we are correctly registering the pool, or, or registering the pool, registering the wallet for staking. So last stream, when I thought it was happening, it wasn't correctly happening. Um, uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe we are not signing it correctly um you could try i added the the back for the sign uh, signing All right. just in case but it should be good hey we have pools We have a lot of them. <laughs> All right. Um, Next step, parse metadata URLs. All right, sign. So we are sending. All right, so we're signing with the okay. change key. And um, with the stake uh, key and um, with everything, and um, we include the certificate. Um, the certificate is using the verification. I'm lost now. <laughs> I mean, we can, we can stop here. I mean, one, we got pools showing up on the, the wallet, right? I mean, we, this is staking to a wallet it is no, this is not like a, this is definitely a multi-stream endeavor. And I ultimately, I think we're in a good spot where like we can. Yeah, we, we have all the pieces generated and it works, but somehow we are missing something and it doesn't actually delegate, but I will figure out. Don't worry. Um, All right. We could... No, that sounds great. So, and um, I definitely think we can tackle that next, uh, next stream. Um, either. Now this is what I'm thinking for next stream. Either a, we, we kind of tackle that off stream, right? Go ahead and get it fixed off stream. Um, and I can spend a little more time getting this list going. And then what we're going to do is, uh, I mean, there's, I guess it really depends on like how far you want to go. Right. So we can get it where we can select a, a pool and delegate to it. And like, we can kind of start the stream where we're at that point. Um, cause I mean, I'm really, I'm really anxious to get into multi-delegation, um, and ultimately, once we figure this out, it's really just, okay, now we just increment our account, right? Um, X number of times for however many pools we want to delegate to. Um, that being said, it's not that simple. 
Um, so, <laughs> or yeah, it's yeah, it's not that yeah. simple. Um, it, it's not that simple because we then will need to uh, uh, divvy up the funds. Different, yeah, different balances and handle the different transaction inputs and start fractaling. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the, this, this is the first step. Um, yeah, I, I think done. it should be very much like uh, like um, we'll we'll definitely go with an even split, right? Like as long as we go even split, it'll be much simpler. Uh, to do multi-delegation. The second we kind of go into, um, you know, okay, I want 10% here, 20% here, and then, what, 70% over there. Um, it's not necessarily much harder to do that, right? But uh, it definitely adds a level of complexity when we're trying to um, yeah. you know, start out. So. And we, we need some uh, refactoring and abstraction. So it it's easier to do. I mean, it's not really difficult to to implement but uh <laughs> with this uh draft code it, it's a little bit harder so yep we'll get to it we'll, yeah. we'll get there awesome well uh i guess we're gonna call it there uh we have other uh like gimbal labs things that we need to jump onto um we really appreciate everybody showing up watching us uh kind of stumble through this but ultimately uh you know we I feel like we're right on the edge of actually getting delegation working. Um, and then actually, you know, now we have the pools up, we can make that a little nicer and have a, um, at least a raw UI, right? Because we're just trying to demonstrate with the tools at hand, what can you do, right? Um, and since something like DB Sync, it doesn't have all this fancy stuff, right? Like it doesn't even hold tickers. Um, you have to use the meta JSON that comes back, right? Like we kind of looked at that when we were looking at Roberto's test net pool. Um, it's like you get just some information and then like, hey, here's a URL to go look at the metadata, which has the, the name and the ticker and stuff like that. Um, but that could easily be something that, you know, a UI a person can jump in. It's like, oh, hey, look, there it is. I can do kind of like a Daedalus thing where you hover over, right, the, the line, the row, and it's like, I'm going to go make that pull to the meta pool, like the meta, the pool meta uh, information. And I can display like, okay, here's the website or here's the ticker and here's the name, stuff like that. So right. anyway, really exciting stuff. I mean, LiftWall is almost ready for staking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, finally. Um, I'm actually really excited to kind of uh, get it going and then we can uh, really tackle the transaction uh abstract right because with the wallet service and the staking service needing to execute transactions um we really need to uh give that area some love so it can be a little more flexible in how we build our transactions so um that'll be really exciting to get that to that point too all right anyway okay. all right. see y'all later thank you uh for joining see you